Um, so we are again here today to talk about some questions that, that come to people's minds that they send me and that that just generally might bother people about the Bible and about some things about um, Christianity in general. So we will get started. We are here together with Brother Duncan, Brother Duncan Hisse, and we will get started with the question of um, what is your opinion on cloning, whether it be humans or animals? Is that, do you consider that to be right or? Well, I'm only here to talk about what the Bible says. And of course the Bible doesn't, doesn't speak specifically about, about cloning. Yeah. Um, I think my take would be that just because something is artificial, which it obviously is, uh, does not necessarily mean that it's wrong uh, of itself. Yeah. I think, I mean, cloning is particularly used um, in agriculture to, to try to produce uh, animals of a certain nature, of a certain weight or appearance or whatever it might be. My difficulty with it is that it inevitably involves a lot of suffering for animals in that in the process of trying to develop uh, the perfect breed or, or whatever, that the trial animals that are produced as a result of the cloning often have miserable lives. And you mm. may see the successful clone, but you don't see all the unsuccessful ones. And are those animals happy that are produced in that way? Well, I suppose you don't ultimately know the answer to that, but one suspects probably not mm. because it is so unnatural. So on the line of uh, cruelty to animals, I would be leery of it, um, but I, I don't actually see any specific uh, biblical case ethically uh, against it. I can't see that, I can't detect that in the text of the Bible, but I do think that kindness to animals is something that, for example, you see taught in the, in the Law of Moses. You see that God, in a sense, does take care for oxen, as it were. He allows the ox to uh, eat little bits of the grain as they are threshing the grain, etc. God is sensitive to all his creation. Mm. And we are taught in the law of Moses the need for sensitivity to all around us, and that includes animals. And I would query whether cloning represents that, that general sensitivity to animals, to God's creation that is around us. And I would feel that it probably doesn't because of all the failures that are produced uh, in the lead up to the, quote, successful clone. Yeah, yeah, it does make me wonder also that um, people often, people often uh, reason their beliefs in that, well, God made it possible, so, so it's okay, but, but it's a question of morale as well, isn't it? Yeah, the, the fact God has allowed things to be possible does not mean they are okay. God yeah. created, if you like, heroin and all, all sorts of drugs and whatever, but that doesn't mean it's okay to become a heroin addict. Yeah. The same with alcohol and, and so forth. The fact that God allows things does not mean that therefore it's okay. That, that's a very weak argument. As Paul says, all things are possible, but not all things are expedient. Not all things are wise. The fact I can, as Paul is saying, eat any kind of meat does not mean that therefore I, I shall do so because yeah. I must be sensitive to other people's conscience. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, and I'm just, that's, um, then you could, uh, as well, if you go by that reasoning, then you could say, well, I can kill a person. So, so God probably agrees with that. And that's just not the case. 